Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the technical trader at TechTrader.com. It's Thursday, the 27th of April. These are the charts for the day. And once again, as we do every Thursday, we're going to review the swings over the last few weeks. We're going to start off alphabetic with APPS, which when it popped here, we put a swing on it. It moved up a little bit, but it's been sideways two and a half weeks now in a very tight channel. I'm okay with that. If you can pop out of here, take out 1340, then you're on your way to 15, maybe even 18 and a half, 19. Next, ARCT, which popped out of a big base, is now pulling back for an entry opportunity, I believe. Support is anywhere between and around this level right there. I think you're going to see uh, 24 and a half, three quarters of support. The next targets are 31, 2 and 37. ASRT dropped out this week and has been stopped out, but it was looking fantastic and forming a nice coil. That's why you protect yourself with stops, folks. Uh, be careful with this one. An Amera with a big explosive move today. We added it as a swing on the pullback intraday. Um, it looks like a stock that has a chance of being in a 9, 10 zone and maybe even as high as 12 or 13 over the next few weeks or coming months. But you can see the declining top line was pierced today. The APH swing trade still in play. You can see it, the coil that's developing. The next target is 13 and 15. Nice rising pattern. On the short side, BILL with a bear flag forming underneath the declining top line and moving averages. Indicates to me that the next target might be down around 48.9. I'm sorry, 58.9 and then 48.9. Cogent, Cognite, sorry, I keep calling it Cogent. CGNT, beautiful base pattern developed that broke out. It's got a gorgeous flag for me. Um, I think if it gets out over the four and a half range, you're looking at five and a half and six and a half. On the short side, CI continues to be in an ugly downtrend, and although it was up a fraction today, I don't think it's done yet on the downside. The uh, declining channel, multiple waves down, and recent break of support tell me we're going to test the next level at 240.42, and then maybe 225.30. CPRI, yet another short, breaking the wedge. You can see with the breakdown gap here, and down now five days in a row, uh, headed for a test of the uh, March low, which was around 40 and a half, 40 and a quarter. You get through that, you're looking at 37 or less. CRSP. Broke out, we put a swing on it, followed through and then pulled back, forming a nice falling wedge right to the moving averages and through the declining top sign that was broken. So a nice test on the way here. We need to have it hold 46 and a half, three quarters. The next target is 54 and 58. Draft Kings, at just above the breakout point and then backed off. And it's a beautiful base pattern. And you can see the pullback might be an entry opportunity. It does get above 22 and a half, but targets are 25 and a half and 30, 31. EDIT popped from the wedge, very similar, and today popped out but couldn't follow through. Nevertheless, encouraging. We get straight and three quarters, then nine and a half, 10 zone, and then 12 will be targets. IFRX had a big explosive move and a pullback. Now it's forming a coil. It has to break out above 480 with volume to get going again. Be careful. The stop is under four. Intel, after breaking out, it ran up a bit, then pulled back down to the 50, today exploding on earnings from the 28 and a half to 32 zone, uh, 31 after hours right now, up about $1.895. IONQ broke out, put a swing on it, breaking out of inverse head and shoulders, it pulled back to test support at the trend line at 50, the moving average, need that to hold around five, five and a quarter. Your targets, if it does, seven and eight and three quarters. IOT pulled back in the last week, right to the moving average and trend line as well. Key support and stop under 17 three quarters. The targets are 22, 25, and 28. ISCE, beautiful chart, breaks out. We put a swing, it continues to run. My targets are 35 and 39.40. ONON popped and broke out. We put a swing on it, it backed off and then extended. We see making a new high at 33 and three quarters. Targets now 36, 7, and 40. Flexus on the short side broke a massive top, and today really got hammered on an engulfing re negative reversal bar. Uh, there is some support down there. I'm not surprised it bounced a little bit, but I think we are he eventually headed to the low 80. Thread up, popped out, and broke out, and has a falling wedge to the trend line and moving average as well. And he dealt with the hold around the 2 to 15 range. The targets the three and three quarters and five. TERN, one of my top 20 picks for the year. Beautiful chart, a little bit of a pullback this week and a flag. My targets are 15 and 18. 
the ICR on the short side, a big engulfing pattern today, forming what looks like a big bear flag coming off of a declining pattern. One, two, three, four, five waves down. Why it's hesitating here, that's why, five waves down. But 34 and three quarters, 35 and 31 are targets. Weight watchers on the long side broke out with a breakaway gap and just kept running, met my targets and backed off. But now looks like it might come on again with targets near 10, 11 and a half and 13. That's a look at the swing trades that are currently still ongoing at the Good night, everybody.